Now let's have a peek at some of those new features that I mentioned, uh, specifically talking about widgets and shortcuts. Now we give you a bunch of widgets that you can use on this machine for your typical functionality. Copying, faxing, usage counters, and so forth. So let's take a peek at how we can access and create those widgets. So we're going to go into our apps menu on the operations panel. Now in that apps menu, again here in the bottom left, if you look across the top, you'll notice there's apps, widgets, programs, and XOA apps. So we can just go into our widgets, and now we can see we have a clock widget, we have a faxing widget where we can do quick faxing rather than jumping into the scan and send menu. So I can just highlight that, drag it to my home screen, and just like that, oh, it already exists, which tells me that I have it on another page. There we are. So there's my faxing widget. I can simply type in my number and hit send. So now we're saving those keystrokes of having to access our scan and send menu. Some of the other widgets we have, if I go into my widgets program, again we can see we have um, contacts, we have a copy widget. So now again without having to actually go into that main copy screen, I can simply bring my copy widget right to the home screen and give it a nice start key. So I can simply choose my copy count and hit start based on default settings. And that's one thing you really need to keep in mind when it comes to these widgets is that it's going to rely on whatever default settings you've chosen for that particular function. So just bear that in mind as we go through and use these widgets uh, moving forward. Let's take a peek at some of the other widgets we offer. So on this uh, ops panel, we have a couple that have been pre-populated just from setup. So notice I have my usage counter widget, so I can uh, just hit that and it'll bring up my, my meter counts and all the various sending usage. I have a paper tray widget, which will now tells me what my paper status is and what type of paper I have in there. Again, we saw the faxing widget. On top of that, Again, if there's a photo gallery, we have a general, another flavor of usage counter widget here. The 4x4 four four version. I can just put that right here on the home screen. Ah, it already exists. All right, so it's counting that one, so I can even highlight that and choose my monthly account and so forth. So those are some of the widgets that you can add. Again, very, very handy. And again, the purpose of all this is to limit the number of keystrokes required to complete a particular function. Now to that point, we also have shortcuts that we can create. Now these shortcuts are great. These shortcuts can now keep certain settings that you've chosen for a job and put it into one icon on the home screen. Such that whenever you want to do this job again with those settings, you simply have to hit the shortcut icon and then the start button. So now this shortcut can be created for scanning, faxing, copying, uh, pretty much all your key features of the machine. So let's go ahead and create a fax shortcut. So I'll go into my scan and send. I'm going to choose fax and I'll just put in a destination. And I can hit add and done. If I want to add another fax number, I can simply type in another fax number. Add that and done. I can choose some other settings uh, if I want it to be uh, duplex or delay send or whatever it is. So I'll just choose delay send. Choose a start time of 341, doesn't really matter. Now, once you have all your settings chosen, and again, this can be uh, with regard to scanning, this can be a certain file type, this can be a certain color type, right? Is it a color, color scan or a monochrome scan? Uh, is it, it could be, uh, again, for SMB scanning, you know, let's say that there's certain settings that you have to use all the time. This can save you all that effort of having to ch constantly change your settings for commonly used jobs and functions that you want to do in the machine. So, in order to create this shortcut, we notice there's a little menu option in the upper right 
of our ops panel. So I can hit that little drop down. And now you'll see we have uh, add to, where is it? There we go, add to my program. Now when I hit add to my program, this is actually going to do two things. Add to my program is not only going to allow us the opportunity to put a home screen icon, but we don't have to do a home screen icon. We do have the capability of just storing all these settings in a list, right? So you can have my preset one, my preset two, and you can have all that in your programs list. We call this a program. And once you want to access it, you can simply choose your program uh, from the list in the machine. Now, as I hit that add to my program option, you'll notice now that I have add to home and auto start, which is great because auto start is a really neat function. Again, one of those new features. If I choose auto start, as soon as I hit that shortcut, it's automatically going to start scanning that job in. So if you have a stack of documents on the document feeder or an image on the, on the glass, as soon as you hit that shortcut, it'll immediately start. So we have the option of making it an auto start or not. Uh, again, that ultimately depends on you and what you feel comfortable with. Uh, sometimes you might want to choose a shortcut, but there might be a setting you want to tweak uh, before you actually send it out. In other cases, if it's something that you are absolutely certain of as far as the settings, you can now choose auto start and it'll send the document right out. Again, significantly reducing keystrokes to complete any particular function. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose auto start as well as add to home and I'm going to call this fax and just uh, fax a shortcut. So I'll put a little marker in there, shortcut and when I hit done and OK. Now when I go to my home screen Notice there is my fax shortcut. Now maybe I made it a bit long-winded, but now you're getting the idea. And again, it's indicated by that little icon. And I can take this and I can move it anywhere I want to make it more convenient for myself. Now again, notice when I hit scan and send, I can just back out of that. But now when I hit my fax shortcut, it's automatically going to populate my settings and notice I, because I hit auto start, it's automatically going to scan off the glass and send the document out. And if you look closely, it kept my fax numbers in there as well. Now I'm expecting this to, fa to fail because I do not have a fax line on this particular machine. But it does keep those destinations in there for you as well. So we can now boil down all of this different settings and configuration, whether it be for a scan to email or scan to SMB or FTP or if it's a copy let's say there's certain copy functions that you really like to have duplex and end up for paper saving I could choose that four up right? again anything that you save we can just hit that little drop down add to my program give it a name Give it an auto start option as well as add to home if you wish. So that order start feature, again, that's new. That hasn't existed before. We do have machines with shortcuts, just not with the auto start option. Again, looking at some of the other little advanced features here. Again, build job, uh, save as a default if you wish and so on. So there's a lot of really, really nice ways we can, we can organize uh, our icons and our widgets and shortcuts to ultimately make life easier for you and limit keystrokes when it comes to performing your various functions.